Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Again, had the headphones on. Just briefly. There we go. You know, I gotta say, this control pad is really finicky with the start button. You have to press real hard down on it. So, I'm not sure how long I actually played the game. This is the day after the previous recording. Because, you see, what happened was, I was, like, battling the other original fiends to see if I could defeat them. And I did. Except for Ultima Buster. I haven't fought that one yet. And you gotta defeat all of them and get ten of each fiend, I think. In order to unlock the final original arena fiends. But I've defeated all the other ones except for Ultima Buster and the one that's not unlocked yet. But the thing is, I undid part of that progress, because, like, I think I played a bit more after i like, done the recording. Then I saved, turned off the PS2. Then a few hours later, I was like, ah, yeah, fuck it, I'll play the game a bit more. And so I did. And, like, I defeated some more shit, uh, more levels. But then Riku had to freaking be like, I've got new dialogue, haha, <laughs> in this battle. But I'm not going to do it a second time. And you know me. I like for this shit to be on screen if there's anything new. So now I freaking I'm levels behind how I was originally last night. Thanks, Riku. Let me see my stats. Kind of like compare how I remember it being. Yeah. Oren surpassed 200 on strength, so yeah. It's it's gone behind a bit. I re well, obviously, I remember Walker going through all here. I'm not sure how far Walker actually went. Most of my levels were kind of, like, preoccupied with... I can't even remember. Like, I know I gave Oren... Well, I gave everyone levels except maybe... No, even Kamari got a few levels. I think Lulu got the least amount. I remember... Something. Where was it? Yeah, I think Oren had made it over here because I gave him that Lux Spear. Riku, uh, I'm not sure how far she moved. I'm pretty sure she also got the Lux Spear as well, so. I don't know how much I undid by Riku not saving him. Oh, wait. Before we actually begin, I'd like to show you a little something. Something very useful. See these return spears? Look at that. Any spear that you have opened like that with the abilities and stats, you can teleport to any of the ones you've been to. Which makes it useful, for example, if... Let's find one. Like these ones are obviously ones that were empty nodes and I, like, changed them, obviously. So, in order to get to those, it could easily just teleport. But that's not the only useful thing about this, uh... Like, for example, Riku is, like, currently, like, right here. Like, up there. But she hasn't technically moved here, for example. But you could just teleport there and get that MP spear right above it without having to use a level. You can just use those. You'd run out pretty quickly if you'd spam them, obviously. But they're easy to get, because you just fight the Chimerigus, or whatever it's called, in the arena, and they'll drop one or two, depending on where you can get an overkill on it. And it's the weakest of these uh, area conquest fiends, so it's fairly easy to defeat. In fact, I will demonstrate just to you just how easy it is. This thing right here. It's the first one you unlock, technically, in the arena, because it's the one that you get from all the Calmland fiends. Which is the first gold you're given. So it's just like, wham! And, oh yes. You ready? Are you ready for this? And, wham! Two shots, that's all it takes. With my current strength and the Celestial Weapons, Goss, your, uh, level... 
Your experience may differ, but you get two return spears if you get an overkill. Just one if, it, if it's just a normal one. You don't need the uh, celestial weapons to defeat that thing, but, you know, it would help to make it a lot faster, you know? Anyways... We're here for more original fiends. This is the one that you unlock by defeating all the other fiends, these original fiends. But you've also got to have, like, uh, ten of each fiend, which I surprisingly don't have, because I'm still missing two of Barbatos, wherever the hell pronunciation is, from Inside Sim. So I've still got to get two more of that as well. But I've essentially... I managed to defeat this. This one took quite a while. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because he has a really strong counterattack that hits everyone. And I defeated Shinryu as well, which is the one that you can only fight with Riku, Waka, and Titus. And the horrible thing about this battle is, at some point when he gets a turn, he will almost always, not always, but usually, he'll use an attack called Eraser, which petrifies the character and then shatters them. And he will only stop doing that attack when it's just down to one character. But, since all my char all three of those characters are fairly strong, you can deal with that. Except for Titus. So forget why I said that, because Titus, his defense is shit. I defeated it twice. Once with Riku, of all characters. Because Riku is a tank, and I could just... I used one of her overdrives to, like, restore MP and HP. Because the spider having over a thousand MP, using quick hit every turn, took a lot of MP. But I was able to defeat it with that. I was able to defeat it with Walker as well. But that's not what you're here for. This little sluggy bastard who's not really a little slug. It's a big slug. I haven't defeated it yet, but I assume I can. Because it's got three stages, and I got to the third stage, and I was like, Ah, fuck it, Riku's not given the dialogue option, so I just turned it off. Without saving, which sucked. But let's do this. Knee Slug. The only true original fiend. Because it looks nothing like any other fiend in the game. Luckily, this thing does know how to counter for shit or anything, so you can hit it with all your might. So let's haste up first. Might as well get Kamari in on the action a bit, why not? There's one thing you gotta look out for with this guy, though, and that is if he hits you with his, uh, multi-range attack, where he just spits acid at every character, that is a very deadly attack. Lulu's come quite a long way with her magic now that she can do, like, that much damage with one hit of Ultima. Even... even Yuna can't do that currently. <laughs> Fuck you! I'd recommend not using overdrives on its first form because you're gonna need them for a second. You'll see what I mean when we get that. But you! Bring out Iona, this is uh, more or less the team I go with here for this situation. I just hope he doesn't use acid on the first turn because I'd be fucked. Not prepared for acid, sir. Quick hits! Quick hits! Yeah, this is his normal attack. Well, one of his normal attacks. I forgot all about the tongue attack. So he's got Lick a Tongue. And he's got like a move where it looks like he's giving you a nuggie and it knocks you the fuck out. And there's one where he fires like a beam in your face and it's very powerful. But he's also got an acid spray one where he's like, blah, 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 and hits every character. That's the one that is the deadliest as a result. 
no, no, no. Dude, quick hit, yeah. Quick hit! Quick hit! Quick hit! Quick hit! Quick hit! Now let's just be on the safe side and, you know, a bit cold. Quick hit! Quick hit! I'm keeping up with the cautionness of this big also notice that Ornan is doing max damage each turn despite being, you know, at full health. He's just that powerful, man. His weapon is supposed to be affected by how much HP he has left. Oh wait, no. Nah. This thing is slow, so you get a shit ton of turns, you know. Here it goes. This is what you gotta look out for, because he's got regen. And when he gets a turn, he just uses Kiraga, so he doesn't actually attack in this form. But you gotta knock it down a considerable amount, which is why I say save the overdrive for this. Because physical attacks do nothing but overdrive. paying attention to it as well because I think it might just lag there briefly. So I didn't get a good hit on it. So I'll press down in three, two, one. Just to be on the safe side. Ooh. Uh, Titus doesn't even have his overdrive built up so I can't do that. Fuck. Take my chances. I mean, the only one who can really do any good against this guy on my team currently, outside overdrive in this situation, would be a little bit double cast. She can do like almost or maybe even a little over max damage to, you know. Uh, spells of Ultima Radix. I like how Orin's Overdrive did max damage both times there, uh, because it used to be a different case, really, didn't it? Where that would not be the case. Isn't it weird to actually have Lulu on the field as the main attacker for once? It certainly feels that way because we rarely, well, we always here on the field. If there's a battle, she's always on the field at some point. Like, in these recordings, anyway. Usually. Well, technically not. I don't think she was in the Dark Shiva battle, for example. But she is usually there, sort of. If anything, I think Kamari is the one who rarely sees any action. See what I mean? He restores way too much HP. And, like I said, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because it would just waste time. I need to restore HP in the meantime. But physical attacks do nothing. So, Kamari, about what I just said, uh, you got time to shine now. And over this bitch. And you may be wondering, it's like, oh, why not summon an Aeon? Well, apparently, and I saw it. So I can confirm, if you have an Aeon out, he restores even more HP with its regen. So, yeah. 
I remember sending out Anima, and yeah, didn't go over well. I mean, I could grand summon Anima, if worse comes to worse, and just overdrive this bitch, and that'll probably knock it out. But it's got a third stage, which I don't fully understand yet, because I didn't really battle it along. I just got knocked out purposefully. But it seems kind of similar to his first form, but it might have some underlying secret to its powers that I am totally unaware of. Yeah, see so, I mean, Kyoraga barely does anything to better his regen abilities. Look at we're going in. Oh wait, sorry, go overdrive ready, so let's do that. Yeah, one other thing I did try with Anima, actually. I, like, uh, because I've taught Anima double cast ages ago. I just double cast Flare at it, and it did a decent amount of damage. But it's still not enough to handle this, this freak of nature right here. So if you're gonna summon an Aeon, summon an Aeon that can do multiple hits. With an overdrive like I am. Well, if worse gets worse, your Jimbo. Because, well. You know what? Your Jimbo would actually be perfect in this situation because this thing can't attack. And you could just keep paying your Jimbo until he eventually uses one shot, one hit, one all. How much are you gonna hit for, Anima? Oh, glory. Thing ain't getting up from that. Well, it will because it's got stage three, but it's going down. Yep. Oh shit, for reals? Oh, oh wait, no. I thought it was defeated for reals. No, it's moved on to stage three now. Mirrorton! Nom! Headbutts! He's like, ah, could I gotta do that again? I, ah, oh, this is the attack I was talking about, slime. Not as effective here, he also inflicts curse, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass as well. Yeah, well, while you're here, Anima, why not demonstrate what I meant about flares? Boom! Doesn't do as much as pain, you see. I was trying to see if I could inflict at least over max damage, but it wasn't working out. Oh my god. I think I now understand. Oh shit! I understand now! He's gonna be spamming slime in this form, isn't he? That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. It's a very, very bad thing, in fact. It's a terrible thing, to be exact. Ooh, good lord. We're gonna need to spam quick hits on this bitch. Much like we always have, really. I think like every single one of these poems have the same amount of HP. So yeah, it's gonna take you a while to take it down. If anything. Oh uh, what? Oh, Riku has got our override filled up to mind. Oh, Walker's still got the auto light as well. So at least two of us would be arrived. Four. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Oh my god, that zoom made it look like it was gonna go into a full form there. 
Like, Walker, you're gonna pay for this. But I didn't even hit you with a finishing shot. But you'll pay for this. But I didn't do anything. Levels for all involved. Pendulums. I forget what pendulums do. Let's uh, have a look see. What does the pendulum do? First things first, actually. Sources, auto. Pendulums. Pendulums. I have like 36 dark matter, so consider amount of progress undone there. Pendulums. I'm probably gonna pass them on my. Not right there. Oh, I only got two of them. Gives me some use for this, but I can't remember what it is. Is it for equipment? Well, let's see what we actually got for like, weapons. Not that we're gonna really use any other weapons than the celestial weapons, but let's see what our abilities can have. Man, evade encounter would be easy to get. Magic counter. Booster. One MP. That's pretty nice. The old ah, uh, wings discovery. Uh, tomorrow. Formula and the secret. Design your wallet. And of course, dark matter for that as well. I know pendulums were for something, but I can't remember what. Ah, Master Feast, that's what it's for. Don't know how many of them you need, though, but. I think Riku's got Master Thief on her celestial weapon. By the way, Shinru, the other one, uh, one that I defeated, it's the one that drops Wings of Discovery, but it only drops two, and you need 30 of them to get the break HP limit, and I assume it's the same for the Overdrive one, or wherever, whichever ability it was for weapons. So, as usual, you need a shit ton of pretty much anything. And you need 99, so a full batch of dark matter to get ribbon. Which sucks. So, uh, let's see here. Riku. Oh, your, your weapon doesn't actually have that. It's just Gillionaire and double AP. I mean, it's nice and all, but it could have that improvement, you know. Anyways. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck it. We've got time. I mean, these parts have to be like 40 odd minutes usually, isn't it? Let's see if I can defeat Shinry as well. None of my overdrives are built up though, so this is probably gonna suck. He's not as strong as I thought he'd be. He's strong, but with the exception of Titus, everyone else can handle it, you know? They won't get one shot, it's just Tigers. Which will suck if he ends up being the last person standing here, because, well, he wouldn't be able to withstand this shit. You see that? Riku can sort of handle it. I kind of think about it, I should probably have I got that. Probably want to get some protect up in here, you know. Be on the side of caution and all that. So yet, but man, oh nice counterattacks. 
know what? Fuck it, Titus. You can go fuck yourself. Let's see. He's just like, why? You. Uh, well, he's gonna probably get knocked out for doing this, obviously, isn't he? It's like, how dare you smack me repeatedly in the face? Like, the way he just does that jump in the water, because it just seems so weird. Enrique's there, why didn't she throw the ball? She's one of the ones that can potentially throw it. And he's dead! He is an ex-teammate. Uh, nice. I don't want to heal him, I suppose. He may end up being the last man standing, potentially. Ah, every time. Well, not every time, but usually half the time. You know, uh, where did the Arena Fiend guy set up this place? I mean, where is this? This isn't the arena. I mean, that looks like that bit right up there in the corner. Is that our ship? Or is it just a pillar or something? I mean, where are we? Is there like some little kind of lake somewhere around the calm lands that we never see? I mean, what's up with this place? Quick hits! Good thing about quick hits is you can get bunch of moves in a bunch of turns, you know. Still not use- oh wait, no, that was a counter-attack. Might use it. Nope. Oh. Titus, that was weak. Don't use your overdrive. Yes, yes. Heal up. Heal everyone. Um, oh, fuck it. Let's go with our old strategy that we stick. Oh, actually, I'll go with this other one that I did when it was Rico was the only one standing. Because this one's quite helpful as well. Final Elixir! How the fuck do you fight like that underwater anyway? Doesn't seem logical, but then again, it's called Final Fantasy. So, you know, it's fantasy. Oh, we got his ass kicked. So, you know, logic may not apply here. Yeah! This guy is probably toasty, and he didn't even get to use a racer. That is, assuming he just wants that, which he most certainly will. Yeah, bitch! I remember when this thing intimidated me to the point where it's like, how am I ever gonna defeat that thing? And now it's just like, levels, now it's just like, oh, it's like the Earth Eater. It was ridiculously overpowered at first, but once you add the slice of weapons and increase your stats a considerable amount, it doesn't become as hard as it actually once was. That other one that I, I mentioned though, still a bit of pain in the ass to handle. Maybe I'll go through that one and hopefully Ultima Buster in the next part. Depends how tough they are, but it's gonna be a great shall we? I think I'm gonna skip over doing the uh, empty nodes because honestly, this uh, speed grid's already looking chaotic. I think what I should really focus on is getting everyone to get through the entire speed grid and then focus on the empty nodes and shit because it's making it really confusing when I just like go around the speed grid and just like, wow, wait, when did I overlook that one? And then I remember it's because I inserted a new node and I'm like, ah, shit. And then I'll be teleporting all over the damn speed grid because I'll be like, where the fuck am I even going, kind of thing, you know? You know what I'm saying? Which I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah. 
Still annoys me that he's getting so many HP nodes all the time, but he can't go above max HP, can't he? I mean, not that he really needs this. It's bloody aura, man. He's a tank. Well, I suppose he could be more of a tank than he already is, but... He still can tank a lot, you know? We don't necessarily need to go over max HP to really, you know, be able to endure some powerful hits. We need the defense for that. HP isn't going to cover it too much, but it will. So, like, for example, like, the Earth Eater uses Flare when it's knocked on its ass, right? And I remember it hitting Yuna, and, like, it always seems to hit for, like, the normal max damage, right? But on Yuna, it, like, did a few hundred less than that for some reason. But, of course, Yuna was in that max HP at the time, so she usually get knocked out by it still, but still, it shows that you can make it so that, you know, the damage is reduced by it. When I eventually, you know, it's, I mean, look at this, there's still so much to explore. It's not only like Tiger's stats are so pitiful compared to everyone else's. He hasn't really explored the, much of a speed radius compared to half the other characters. I suppose Lulu's another one that hasn't explored the whole thing yet. Well, no character has, really. Which is why I should focus on getting every one of these nodes opened before, you know, going on to, you know, focus more on these empty nodes. And, you know, if, if looking at the stats after doing all that, you could see for some improvements, I could, like, look at, say, let's see here. I know there's some stats, like these right here. Strength plus one and agility plus one. I could use the clear spear on them to remove them and insert a strength spear for four and an agility spear for four. So it'd be an improvement, you know, kind of thing. But we'll see when our stats get to that point, you know, once we clear the spear wheel up, which will take a considerable amount of time. Also, uh, you may notice, like, the colors around them indicating which characters have, you know, used that particular spear before. So, yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind. Know where each character's been and stuff, you know? Stuff. I would try to get this, but, you know, it's got level fours all the way, and I've only got, like, two, frankly. I think you can bribe the fiend on the, in the car lands, but... Ghost of it, you know? The only other way... Well... I suppose the only other way of getting level 4 key spears that I can remember would involve us going to the point of no return inside Sin, so... Yeah, it's... I can't remember what fiend it was. It was that cat thing, I think. I can't remember how much you have to bribe it for. But that's essentially the fiend you get level... You can bribe for level 4 key spears. Or maybe it was the chi Chimera thing. I can't remember which it was. There's also the Marlboros for the Wings of Discovery, but... Now, once you can defeat Shinryu, I suppose you could just focus on battling that over and over again. And another thing is, uh, well, I'll demonstrate another neat thing about fighting these annoyingly overpowered fiends with their prices for, you know, battling them. Is they'll always drop some shit, and some of that shit can be sold for a good profit, like that right there. Like, triple AP, that's awesome, but because we got our celestial weapons, it doesn't really matter. Actually, look at that. Over, like, a celestial weapon, break damage limit, triple overdrive, first strike, and counterattack. So technically, this weapon right here is actually good, because it'll get us a shit ton of levels using it. But, you know, we already get a shit ton of levels, so, you know, we just could easily just sell it for profit. Like, not all the items that it... They drop even if they are overpowered, we'll get you some good shit. This is all stuff that I've got from that, isn't it? I mean, look at that! That is quite a nice profit. Yeah, you can just sell what you get from it to get your money back, you know? Because it costs a bit to fight them, but you get some good equipment that you could sell, or if you if you really wanted to, you could even use some of it. So yeah, there's that. Look at those profits. Well, these ones don't sell for as much, but still. So that's another neat little thing to do there. But anyways, I'll see you next time, I guess, viewers. This was a short part compared to the other ones. For that, I'm kind of thankful, because these freaking videos take up a lot of space. Like, not a shit ton of space, but quite a lot. So, kind of contradicting there, isn't it? It's like, over 40 minutes would like be like, a couple hundred megabytes. It's like, it gets ridiculous sometimes when it's really lengthy parts, but this one was kind of short. So, I'll wrap it up instead of freaking making it go on even longer. So, I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time. Finally! Saved! I forgot the most important thing, so I battled this guy again. I forgot all about the whole point was this. Time to go, S-Cargo! 
that, that was it. That was the dialogue that I mentioned at the start of the recording that I was like, all right, turn off the console because I got on screen that. Even though it's something so absurdly simple like that. Does anyone have any other dialogue? I think she's the only one to comment on this thing. I'm not sure if it's only when it's first in this form, because that's when I brought her out originally. But yeah, time to go, Escado. You piece of shit. Asshole. And whatnot. You know what, fucking, while I'm here, before I wrap this pop dot up for reals this time, I'll demonstrate why... why I meant about, uh, physical attacks. It's immune! So yeah, don't do that. Just use magic and overdrives. But anyways, for reals this time, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.